Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day and another awesome vlog. In today's video, I'm going to go through from beginning to end of setting up some solar. Um, some 12 volt solar system from Harbor Freight Tools. Harbor Freight Tools. Um, I have uh, one 100 watt system. These are 25 uh, watt panels, make 100 watt, and the Harbor Freight 45 watt system. I have two of those. So in this discussion, I'm going to be talking about uh, the solar for 12 volt system uh, for mostly for use in motorhomes, RVs, and um, our van conversion, our Ram Pro Master Ram conversion. So that's my goal, to run things for that. Not a whole house system like what's on my neighbor's roof. So home systems, um, they are uh, DC powered systems way up there. They're not 12 volt, they're at least 24 volt or uh, more. So that system uh, is directly to, to be converted instantly into AC current. This system here and th this solar stuff that I'm going to show you today um, is specifically for DC use. Yes, I'll use an AC inverter, but there's a big difference in what you're trying to do with both systems. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, I've done solar videos and before. I've learned a lot. Thank you all for your comments and your suggestions. So I'm going to get into setting up a basic system, tell you what it'll run, how long it'll run. Uh, we're going to get into some formulas and stuff like that. So let's get going. The first thing I'm going to show you is the solar panel should be clean. So far I've just got these. Uh, the sun is still up over that way, so nothing's getting direct sun this morning. Those three are in the shade. Those are getting some sun. But what I do is um, I just shower them off. Right, They're made to be outdoors in the sun, so hopefully they can handle a little bit of water. I've been cleaning them. So I just shower them off. Good enough. I don't know who gets on the roof over there. I don't know how gets on who gets on that roof and cleans those solar panels. So you would think uh, here in Southern California where we don't get a ton of rain that those panels get pretty darn dirty and probably lose a lot of their efficiency. So that's another thing I have about putting solar on my roof. We don't use enough power for that kind of system. So once I hose them off, we won't film this whole thing, but I just take a microfiber cloth so I'm not scratching anything. And I just wipe them off. We'll turn off the camera and go to the next scene. I'm just going to dry them off. Okay, so I've wiped down and washed the dust and dirt off my solar panels. So these are amorphous solar panels. There's many different kinds of solar panels, but the Harbor Freight Tool solar panels are amorphous. They are a decent type of solar panel. Um, they will last a lot longer before they deteriorate. And there are some other benefits into them, but we're discussing the Harbor Freight Tool solar panels, and they are amorphous, which happens to be on the upper end of type of solar panels you can buy. So that's why um, a lot of people uh, write to me and comment to me, oh, I could have bought this kind of solar panel with this much wattage for a lot less money. So um, a lot of times the answer is, well, that's a house solar panel. There's many different reasons. Um, these solar panels are amorphous, uh, they are good, they will be long lasting, uh, they're not going to deteriorate, so the money that you put into buying these um, will actually work out to be a better cost, cost effective in the long run. Hi, um, so welcome back, uh, still on the solar panels. So I have um, four 25 watt Harbor Freight solar panels and all together I have six these are 15 watt each solar panels. So I am going to be mixing and matching these solar panels into the Harbor Freight hub. 
this this hub has eight ports on it and one output and it will um, handle up to 400 watts do not stick more than 400 watts in this but you can mix and max mat, um, mix and match your solar panels into this hub to combine all the wattage together so the next question I get is why can I mix a 25 watt solar panel with a 15 watt solar panel system and the answer to that is it has to do with open voltage so if your panels have an old open voltage for example I'm going to take my voltmeter and I'm going to get a reading which panel do I have here a 25 watt panel and I am getting 22.4 approximately 20.4 22.5 volts okay and now I'm gonna grab a 15 watt solar panel and I'm going to get 23 I'm getting about 23.1 open voltage I don't know if you can read that upside down or not. So the rule of thumb is with your solar po panels, if their open voltage is within 10% of each other, they're fine to use together. So, so you won't have any problem with them. Okay, so next I have three 15 watt, watt solar panels uh, for a total of 45 watts that I'm going to put in their harness that comes with their kit. So I would have maximum of 45 watts coming here, okay? And then I have another one, another three here, okay? The reason I'm bundling them together is, like I said, this hub has eight input, so eight input points, and I already have nine solar panels, okay? And this will handle 400 watts. So a total of, a, if I get maximum, you're never going to get maximum out of your solar panels anyways, but always think about the maximum wattage you have. So I do have 100, 145, 190, 190 watt uh, possible, which is half of what this can handle. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug 45 and 45 into this. And then I'm going to leave the 25 watt panels um, individual. I'm not going to tie them together with their hub. Okay, and the reason for that is I don't want to uh, put the 100 watts all together with the 45 watts. I don't know the electronics inside this thing, but the 45 watts to 100 watts is 55 watts difference while 25 watts to those three put together is 45 watts and that's only 20 watts difference that I'm putting into here. So guys have told me why don't you bundle them all together, run this thing up to 400 watts, blah blah blah. So that's just how I'm doing it um, to be on the safe side. Okay so I've now plugged the two 45 kits and three of the 25 watt solar panels into the hub and they just have a really nice connector everything you can tell goes together by its connections and plug it in so now currently with those in the shade those are partial sun those are partial sun I mean there's no way we're getting 190 watts into here right now but we can check okay I've hooked up my voltmeter to the output of the hub and I am getting 22.6 volts. Uh, no idea what the current would be, what the wattage is because you cannot measure wattage without a load on the system. So I do, uh, I just wanted to show that that was 22.5 so that is a combination and a mix of the original open voltages. So. So that's what the open voltage reading is, about 22.6, so we are getting some voltage.